the Red Lake Nation is a, is a sovereign nation. It's closed off. It has its own government system. It has its own police force. There's something very beautiful about that and positive, but on the other end, a lot of our kids don't get a lot of exposure to the outside world. We have signed on with the, the President's Committee of Arts and Humanities in their National Turnaround Arts Program. Over the course of the last three years, that's enabled us to bring in artists, uh, to work with our kids in different areas of dance, spoken word, some hip hop, painting, and it's brought in artists from Arizona, the Twin Cities area, um, Colorado, and they bring in a new perspective for our kids and a, a whole new energy. I really like, I participate in the plays here. When I was in the play, I was pretty nervous and I was still self-conscious about myself and opening up to people. But then when I did it more, it was, it was awesome and people notice me now. We want to integrate arts into our classroom with the standards as our guideline. We want students to learn the same thing, it's just sometimes they're showing their learning in a different way. So we don't want just art in the art room, we want art in all of our content areas, um, science, math, social studies, language arts, to enhance the student learning and really um, enhance engagement and learning. I think um, I'm getting better like, at teamwork and like working with other people, communicating. The quieter, more artistic kids have really been able to show off what they know and be real leaders throughout the classes with their arts, with their talents of drawing and writing and singing and acting. Being, being creative is kind of you taking control of how you like things and the way you like to express yourself in a way. Art is important in itself, but for us, make having cultural a cultural tie to it is extremely important for us because we want them to have a sense of identity in who they are as Anishinaabe people. Uh, knowing that the Native American culture is at a critical point where you don't want to lose sense of that culture. One reason we do snow snakes is because of where we teach. We teach on a reservation and we need to honor that and we need to honor the student's culture and tradition and try to bring in activities that engages them in their culture and also try to bring in other people from the community to help with those activities. So the first thing we do is we have an elder come in and tell the story of the snow snakes. And then we go out into the woods and they cut their own snow snakes. They whittle the sticks on their own. And then they get to get really creative where they design and paint the snow snake and make it unique to them. I was trying to dedicate this stick to something that was important to me. And I came up with the idea to dedicate it to the LGBTQ plus community. In our mural work that we've done, we've, they're done by local artists and artists that have a, uh, a foundation in the Anishinaabe culture. And they all enjoy the opportunity to, to work with, not only work with the artists, but to have their work on the wall. When I came to school, I was amazed at how all these, you know, artwork on the walls and I felt like I, you know, belong here. Art is, is a reflection of your community and in school really provides a heartbeat to your school. It provides it with life, flavor. Um, it creates passion, a passion for learning. Since we've made art a focus in our school, we've had a reduction in discipline referrals of over 40%. Our enrollment has increased 11%. Our state standard test scores have risen. It's really just checked all the indicators for us personally as, as a Red Lake Middle School to show nothing but positive influences on both our kids and in the community. Art 
has really changed my life. It helped me through a lot of things. It, it made me a better person.